Hey, welcome back to More Unexplored. We've got another minor little update. And uh, remember how I made that uh, c that little note about how you, when you went into um, the Mithril Run thing, you couldn't look at the achievements beforehand? Well, look, they changed it. <laughs> I have so much power over the development. Like, I just, just a little, I didn't even say that it was a problem. I just mentioned, like, hey, why can't you uh, check the achievements before you do it? And then, like, boom, fixed. Also, creep's been nerfed. Also, I probably have something to do with that. I don't want to just, like, assume that I am completely in control of this game's development. But it's pretty, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know. I like to think that I am. Anyway, let's get into a new one. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's right here. Perfect. So, yeah, the main one we want to do is kill Goblin King, because that'll help all our future ones. Wow, Jam Cop. Good job. Um, yeah, these scores are getting higher and higher. We should have got on this a little quicker so that we actually had a chance of getting a high score. Now it's like impossible. Radinvs? I like it. Sure. It's exactly, yeah, exactly the kind of dumb name I might have come up with myself. Makes it a little more unpronounceable than I usually come up with. Radinvs? Or rat Radinves? Rad yeah. Uh, Radinves. Already already a dark level. Right, so now we know the whole layout of this level. We should have a, like, we have a basic plan um, no matter what we come across here. It actually did not take long at all to get this figured out. A little, little shorter than I expected. Unless I'm mistaken and there's something I'm missing, which is possible. It's definitely possible. Okay, that was easier than it had any right to be. Um, key's nice. Obviously, we're not going to use the sword with our melee helmet. You know, no reason to do that. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. I, I guess, really, we want to explore everything we can while we're going along here. And, yeah, go, just, <laughs> just hope for the best. I wonder, I'm wondering how much, oh, right, we have extra strength now, too. So the tombs are no problem, for sure. Oh, well, that was lucky. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm wondering how much of a degree luck plays into things as far as getting a high score because since there's a limited amount of rooms you can actually go in that means at some point like well okay that means there's a limited amount of treasure so does that mean the treasure is the same for each run or does is the treasure different for example the people who got like 2000 something are they like can they get more than that is that like if okay if i explored every single room and got everything that i possibly could did i actually miss something over here or um, I guess I should make sure there's not a secret room there. Oh, and there, yeah, there is a thing down here. Yeah, but if they got literally everything they could, um, would, could someone else getting everything they could do better than them? It's kind of strange because of the way the high score system works. I mean, I guess it's kind of like that with an, any game that's random, and that's why, I don't know, it seems like most games with high score systems aren't random. Yeah, <laughs> because if it's random, it's like, well, someone's just going to get luckier than you eventually, and then they're going to have the high score. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's not like it's harmful to have the high score in there. It's not like I'm complaining about it. It's not like it, it takes away anything, having it be a high score system, necessarily. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's making me wonder, like, how's that going to work in the long term? Um, I guess <laughs> Unexplored is a niche enough game where there's not going to be, like, really intense unexplored speedrunners or anything or like you know people always going for those high scores but at the same time like uh um that's might possibly because that might you know partially be because you, you just can't do that you know it's just partially based on luck and eventually someone's gonna have just the highest score right because either it's based on luck in which case someone just needs to get lucky and then they have the high score or it is the same which means eventually someone will have the highest score, right? Um, I mean, I think even with old arcade games, that's always been, like, possible. It's just that it was a lot tougher than it's... Oh, I didn't even see that thing there, and it, I got stuck against it. It just seems like it was a lot tougher to do, um, whereas with this, I mean, there's so there's not many levels. It seems like it wouldn't be too hard to eventually... Oh, jeez. To eventually... Oh. <laughs> to eventually get to the point where you've just got the high score and then the whole score oh man and then the whole scoreboard is uh it's just one score you know i don't know what does it matter 
it's not like we're anywhere close to that. We don't need to worry about that that problem right now. Let's just leave it for later and not not even you know that's what you should do with all problems. It's just put them off until later, and so that someone else can deal with them because hopefully you'll be dead by then. Works for me. And if you're not dead by then, it'll just make life more interesting. Hey, what's the problem with that? I don't see a problem with that. These bats suck. I actually, I, I really, really don't like them. Hmm. I am almost sort of disappointed that the that the uh, level isn't that isn't very large. I mean, like it's not. It's not small, but I don't know. When I when I was thinking like Moria, I expected a little bit more, more of like a big, like a, like something more labyrinthine. How how do you pronounce that? Labyrinthine, labyrinthian. I I honestly don't remember. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like a, a little more maze-like. I should have just said that and now embarrass myself. Um, that's just I don't know. I expected something larger, something. Uh, more vast, something easier to get lost in. Not that, I mean, we've already gotten kind of lost before, but, you know, I don't know. It's just, I'm just complaining for complaining's sake at this point. Oh, the gold's nice. Oh! <laughs> little, little beetle freaked me out. Uh, there's more to explore down there. Yeah, I mean, I see no reason not to explore everything. Um, that's another weird thing. I mean... I don't know if it's weird, but a little, another interesting thing is that because there isn't a, there's no time limit high score, and I'm not really sure why, it's not like I'm saying time limit high scores are like particularly good or anything, it's just like what's different about this one that makes it not uh, lend itself to a, oh, come on, to that kind of high score, like what's so different? Um, like the normal game has time high scores for like, uh, for like the other challenge runs. I don't see what's too different about this that you couldn't do that. Like, yeah, okay, over time, you're going to get those achievements unlocked, and you're going to be able to do better. And, okay, I guess we'll ignore that for, for now, because we don't even have a shovel. Oh, we do have a shovel. Never mind. Yeah, like, I get that you're going to get better over time, and, like, eventually the time's going to go down just because you're going to have achievements that other people are not going to have. But that's the same with the money, too. Like, eventually you're not going to have... Eventually, you're going to have enough equipment that you can get, you know, all the money on a level or something, whereas someone without that extra healing potion or that extra strength or whatever wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, okay. Okay, just want to make sure this was the only floor. But yeah, like, so what's different? Like, yeah, you're going to run into that problem no matter what you do. Like, no matter what kind of high score you do. That, that's kind of what makes it weird. Um, I like that they tried something different, certainly, from, like, other games with high scores. And with it, just other games in general, really. But I don't know. It's just kind of interesting to think about because I, I don't know how well it's it's going to work in the long term. If that's important, it probably won't be. Let's read this. Descend. Okay, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Now we're very far away from where we want to be. We're in the underdark, which might be a little stronger than what we want to deal with right now. There's a troll right here who hasn't seen us. And okay, well now he's seen us. The troll still hasn't. I thought he did for a second, but I guess we got around that. Let's see if we can find the way up. Like, please. A chalice and a ring. We could equip the ring. Be a little risky about things. Oh, uh, don't pick up a potion. He's gonna throw it at me. Uh, right, we have throwing axes. Let's not be just dumb about things. This is actually very easy if you just if you just use what you got. He didn't throw that potion, which I'm happy about. Especially now that I know that it's invisibility. I like that. You physically attack or bump into a creep. Okay. Hmm. No, we don't need the sword here. We don't need the helmet at all. What? In? Right, but we need the torches still. Um, okay. A scroll. Some money. Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Oh no, am I just fucking dead? What is this? Teleportation? Oh, well. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, I should have figured. I, I mean, I knew it wasn't descend, so I was thinking at first, like, oh, okay, we're screwed. But yeah, right. Teleportation. That's always an option. Um, yeah, let's try and find this exit. I'd like to get back up. Start actually, ooh. Start going about our actual plans. 
that hold the light. What holds the light? What? That's that's an incomplete sentence. I have no idea what you're getting at. Break the glass. Break the glass that holds the light. I assume that's it. That that makes sense. Uh, that holds the light. Break the glass doesn't make any sense. So I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, if we're assuming that those two words are supposed to go together, and I think, or those two sec sentence fragments, I assume they are. I've never seen glass in this game, though. I don't think. Unless I'm forgetting something, which I could be, but I don't think so. Um, also, yeah, like this is. Oh no, wait. But up there, we didn't actually find any iron. The first when we went down that other time, we got we were just surrounded by iron. We couldn't get through, or copper, or whatever it is. I don't exactly remember. We don't need two shovels. And where's the other? Uh, oh, we have the other throwing axe equipped. No, where to? Where to go? What happened? Oh, was it that guy I threw it at, and then I ignored the stuff because I didn't want to pick up all this junk? But then I forgot. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, I mean, at least I guessed it. Um, where is the exit, please? I uh, should not have the, uh, this equipped for this. Should not have the fire. Oh, you tricky level. You almost got me there. Okay, some good. Gold? Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, um, oh! Jeez. Oh, he actually, he picked up my weapon and, did he just catch it? He caught it. How did he do that? Ooh, I like that just running over the throne weapons picks him up. I don't like that he caught my weapon again. Well, I mean, this is a different guy, but... Ah, uh, that, that... Okay. Ooh, that, that could have that could have gone better. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that it picks him up, just like the same as gold, where you don't have to stop and pick up all the shit. You just pick up what you need. I like that. Oh, is that the exit? Oh, perfect. Um, we've explored, like, this whole floor. Well, no, there's probably some more. Yeah, there's definitely more. But we've explored a lot of this. No, that's the way down. We don't want to go down. Because as far as I know, we will not actually be able to go down. We'll be able to go, you know, we'll be able to get down into the Mithril Mines, but we won't actually be able to get down to the, the place beyond that. And that's what we want to do in the long run. So we would just be repeating ourselves if we did it now. So let's go up. Um, this is assuming a lot of things stay the same, which might... Ooh, that's not really what I meant to do. This is assuming that a lot of things stay the same, which very well might not. Um, oh. But, uh, you know. They could. We're gonna assume they do. A lot of things are staying the same, it seems. So, I'm fine with making these assumptions. No matter what they say about assumptions. Assumptions get a bad rap. They're really not that bad. I mean, it's, it's like, it's necessary. This guy is another one of those dumb trolls that uh, doesn't do anything. Okay, well, okay, okay. Making me eat my words, aren't you? Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's very active all of a sudden. There's the Goblin King. We have no healing potions, do we? We don't even have any rations. I'm gonna drink this. It's a life potion. <laughs> I am lucky. There's some cash. Um... If this troll ignores me, I might just, uh, he's not ignoring me. Invisibility time? No, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. No, 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 uh, yay, yay, that's not, okay. That's not good. Um, let's invisibility now, but I don't think it's even gonna be very effective. I didn't drink it? I, I clicked it. Well, that's, uh, just kind of embarrassing. We had a strength potion that's not really useful. Glad I didn't pick up that, or I didn't put on that ring. Not that it would have made a big difference. Okay, let's try again. Um, a hiha, I I hiha. <laughs> what what a name! It just sounds like somebody laughing. I hiha, or like a like try. Uh, there's a, still a typo here. Was that other typo fixed? Wait a minute. Was it here? I don't, I don't see the typo. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was here. Maybe it was on the screen before this. But that, that's, that's a typo. Let WS. 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'd always be willing to uh, accept a job as a, uh, as a, as a proofreader <laughs> if, if you need somebody. It's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take low pay even. Minimum wage, just uh, happy to do it. Uh, where is... What? <laughs> what? Oh, it's one of these. Okay. I thought I was just stuck on the first level. Or uh, the first, not even the first level, the first little, first room. But no, it's just these arches that I, c I can never see these. My wow, a lot of bones. Oh, oh. I guess because of spiders? I mean, spiders aren't that bad. Come on, guys. People who died there, died here are just not very good at the game. I mean, I can, I can see taking some damage to these guys. Like, I just took a, you know, one point of damage. But dying to them? You gotta be pretty, pretty bad to do that. Recharging. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was trying to say earlier, it's funny because someone pointed out that the trolls were, like, really tough and, like, just wait until you see the trolls. And then, like, right after that, you know, on the last episode, um, it was, like, the easiest troll ever. Like, it, like, the troll was the easiest enemy I had come across because it just did nothing. Like, it just, yeah, I was hoping that was going to happen again. And, uh, well, not exactly. Is there ever anything in the, oh, yeah, perfect. Is that, is that like a really good reason to play as the dwarf then for these runs? I wonder. That's, okay, that's kind of an interesting thing. That's sort of some, some meta discussion right there. Because I don't think, I don't know because I don't have any of the other classes really. You know, except the one you start with. But um, it seems like, also a nice healing potion. It seems like that would make the dwarf the best character for getting the most amount of money. Simply because he is always guaranteed to be able to open tombs which have a possibility of having more money in them. I don't think any other class actually gives you the ability to make more money and since the making more money is the point of the of this mode it seems to make the dwarves the best. Makes sense, you know, dwarves are, are, are greedy little things as far as uh you know, that's what we've been taught by token and such. So it makes sense, but it's just kind of kind of interesting. Seems like you should never really play as anything except the dwarf unless you're just feeling really lucky, like you're going to find a strength potion. And like, who knows? You, you might not. Okay, well, that was not great. We need this guy's key, though, I'm sure. I like. I do like that there's just enough light here to actually uh, fight him. I don't like that he just picked up both my, my axes and that I have no weapons to throw at him. I like that I got a lot of rations. Maybe I can just hide over here? I don't think so. Like, he can definitely see me. Maybe if I just get around a corner. Oops. Just right here. Yeah, that could work. This could work. I mean, you know where I went. Why? <laughs> I understand them not knowing where I am because I'm hiding, but like, not knowing which direction I went in should be pretty obvious. Oh. Also, like, the swoosh going by his head should have maybe alerted him to something, but, you know, I'm not complaining. Except I am. I am complaining a little bit. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not upset about it. It's just, you know, why? Uh, okay, I wish that reloaded faster. I was hoping to hit him, you know, before something happened. Just get on the other side of this shadowy area. Okay, see, now he's following me. That makes perfect sense. Tip, tap, tip, tap. There we go. Pick up all this. We get the key. We got the key. Um, was there some, was there really something in this corner that we didn't see? Is it just empty? It's just empty. There's no, yeah, the other one's too small of a gap to even, to even check out. Is that a plane outside? You probably can't hear it. <laughs> it's just a little, little loud. Uh, it makes sense. I live, you know, pretty fa fairly close to airplanes, to, a, it's, you know, one of those places where airplanes go. Uh, turn this back on. Well, we got the other key, too, so now we can get this chest. Nice. Oh, good. I did want to mention, it is getting closer and closer to when I will be, uh, setting sail on the open seas. And so, you know, this is probably just going to outright stop at that point, because... I wouldn't be able to keep up with the updates, you know what I mean? I can't really record this ahead of time, um, so there's going to be basically a three-month hiatus. And if we, you know, we'll probably come back to it after that, 
I mean, like, it honestly won't be too bad because, like, eventually we're going to run out of stuff to do in this game anyway. Um, and three months is probably a pretty nice amount of time to just come back later. And, like, there will be three months worth of, uh, like, weekly updates to check out. That will be pretty cool. Like, it might, it'll be, like, a completely different game by then. Or maybe, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to, don't want to put any pressure on the developers for, you know, wanting to deliver. I'm just saying, though, when September comes around, if you want to, if you want to come out with some amazing new update, it wouldn't be the worst timing in the world. Okay, that, on the other hand, was pretty bad timing with the fire and the beetle and everything. Should have put my torch away also before I hit that guy. That wasn't timing, though, that was just, uh, just, uh, low, low intelligence, just, <laughs> just a dumb move. Uh, okay, fire's out. Perfect. Wasn't there another one? Yeah, there he is. But yeah, so I just wanted to say, like, pretty soon here. I found out my, like, actual date I'm leaving for sure is June 2nd. I can't say for sure if we'll go all the way until June 2nd. Certainly we'll go no later, because I, you know, I won't be anywhere close to a computer. But, um... You know, we might stop on the 30th of May or something. I don't, I don't know. No guarantees is all I'm saying. Just kind of, you know, putting that out there. Also, I want to mention, this is just completely uh, irrelevant to everything. But um, now that I'm getting a little more used to this level, I feel uh, comfortable talking about random bullshit. And uh, I was just reading about something. Just thought... Just thought the people at home might be interested in hearing about the new phenomena called, uh, ecosexuals. Mm-hmm. Yep, you heard that right. It's people who, f who fuck the ground. Um, what a wonderful world we live in where people like this they <laughs> can exist. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty gross and, uh, strange and kind of mind-boggling and, and and gross can I just can I just say gross again apparently there's like a big convention in Sydney or something so for all the Australians you know maybe a nice thing to do on a weekend uh, you know a little, little get together together with all your other uh, earth earth fuckers I don't know what the yeah sure what do you you know what else are you doing in Australia I don't know I've never been I'd love to go Australia seems kind of, I don't know, it seems interesting. I probably wouldn't mind, l I was going to say living in Australia, but I might. I don't know. I don't know. It seems, okay, if I was born in Australia, I'd probably stay. I think that's the best way, you know, that's the best way to put it. If I was born there, I would stay there. Would I move there? No. No, I wouldn't. Oh, there's a door right here. I knew there had to be something else here. Yeah, like, would I, would I, would I move there? No, I wouldn't. I would never move from the United States unless, like, there was a, there was, like, a, a I don't know. Okay, didn't, didn't mean to knock the key off onto the next level. That's pretty bad. Um, I guess we just can't get that key anymore. But yeah, I, I wouldn't move there. I wouldn't move anywhere from the U.S. I think I've mentioned this before, but maybe not in this series. That, like, there are very few places I even consider. No, it definitely wasn't in this series. Uh, there are very few places I'd consider moving to, and even then I'd never do it unless it was like an emergency. You know, fleeing the country because of some um, I became some crime lord or something. That's a possibility. <laughs> a, a, a very distant possibility, but I mean, like, who's to say? You know, uh, it's possible. Maybe it's trumped up charges, you know. Maybe I'm getting away. Maybe I'm, I, there's actually some justice to it, and I'm actually, you know, I'm trying to escape because I rightly deserve my freedom. Yeah, it's, it could happen. Anyway, yeah, I mean, Australia seems... Basically, the thing I would like about it is it seems quite uh, large. It seems like you, you got a lot of space. I mean, like, I know most of the people live in just a couple of cities, and, like, that's just, that's the same, like, everywhere on the fucking earth, it seems. Uh, at least it's, it's heading in that direction. Personally, not a fan, as you could probably guess. Um, because, I mean, <laughs> the name of my channel is Yeoman, which, if you aren't familiar... It means a, uh, it's, it's an old term, like an old English term for a, um, individual landowner. Like someone who owns private property that he, uh, takes care of himself. So, like, it's not, it's sort of the in-between from, like, a, a ruler and a serf. Like, a serf is someone who works on other people's land. 
A ruler is who, someone who has other people work on his land. A yeoman is someone who works on his own land. Now, despite my name, I don't have uh, I don't own any land, so a bit misleading. Um, but it's it's you know, I look forward to that someday. Um, definitely something I am going to do in the future. Uh, become the yeoman that I was always meant to be. But uh, you know, so until then, it's a little inaccurate. But like, you can't really do that in say uh, in in a lot of countries. I'd imagine. Then again, like, I don't really have a good sense of scope when I look at other countries. Because you look at the United... St the, the thing is, I, I live in the United States. The United States is fucking giant, and I've been to, like, none of it. And since I've been to so little of it, it's very hard for me to imagine just how large it is. Because I have no sense of scale. Like, even the state I'm in, I thought this... Like, I, I want to, like, travel outside of the, the state I'm... I don't want to really give away what state I'm in, but you could probably guess fairly well if you take some... Some hints that have been, uh, you know, unpurposefully scattered around. But, actually, in fact, no, I can think of a one video where I actually said it explicitly. But you'd, you'll have a hard time finding it, so good luck. Um, oh, we, we just have to drop down now? Do we use this as a descend? Teleportation? Oh, that's even better. But, uh, yeah, like, I've, I've always wanted to, like, travel, even if it's just in the United States, but, like, outside of the state I live in. Um, we want to go there, right? Yes. But then I sort of, like, I've done a little bit more traveling within the state I'm in and realized, like, man, it's fucking big. <laughs> like, it is a big state. It's not even one of the... Okay, well, I don't want to start eliminating other states so you can just figure it out by process of elimination. But it's not like Texas or Alaska, for example. It's not... Because, you know, you think about Texas and it's supposed to be, like, roughly the size of, like... Like, it's comparable to fucking France. And it's like, yeah, wow, Texas is large. It's not that big, but it's it's big, the state I'm in. It's not Rhode Island. I, I guess I'm starting to eliminate them here. But, like, it's just kind of... Uh, that's why Australia, it seems, would be a nice country to live in, because you get a lot of space. If you want to go buy your own land and and sort of, you know, be out with nature or whatever, be, <laughs> be an ecosexual, full circle. We've come full circle. Uh, you can you can go and do that, and that's great. It could, you know, you got to have a big country for that. Um... So it's, it seems like Australia would be kind of alright for that. The problem is that, of course, it's Australia. It doesn't seem like... Again, this is kind of the thing. You sort of get into these uh, stereotypes of different places. Like, you remember it for one specific thing, and you don't realize that most countries are actually very diverse ecosystems. Ecosystem's not quite the right word there. But, like, very, they have a lot of different types of landscape and stuff like that. For instance, um, you, you think about, like, the, the American Southwest... And you think it's just desert, like it's just fucking desert. And then you go to fucking, uh, uh, like, yeah, I was gonna say Colorado, but everybody knows Colorado has snow in it. But like, you go, even just Utah, actually, Utah has some nice parts, but people just kind of consider it desert. Northern Arizona is is forest, but like Arizona is is just a desert, you know, in people's mind. Just stuff like that. It, it's I have a feeling maybe that's the case with Australia. But if it's not, um, I would not want to live in Australia because it seems like, yeah, it's just a big fucking desert. <laughs> like, uh, you know, with maybe some nicer parts. Um, but, like, I haven't seen pictures of any of those nicer parts. I've definitely never been there. Hell, I'd probably like going there just to see that. Like, hey, is Australia nice at all? Like, is there anything redeeming about Australia? Let's find out. Because that's really the only way to know for sure is to go for, go for yourself. But, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of a strange thing to say, isn't it? Like, I don't believe these pictures. Like, <laughs> like, like. no, that's fake. There's no greenery in Australia. That's just, that's a fake picture. That's New Zealand. You're, you're, you're joshing me. New Zealand, actually, I'd love to visit. That sounds pretty cool. I wouldn't want to live there because I hear the, uh, I hear the women are very unattractive and yet at the same time are some of the bitchiest women in the world. Um... Possibly also unfounded. Maybe that's just one of those. Maybe I'm pulling another uh, Australia here, and it's actually you know the women are great, or at least some of the women are great. I mean, I'm sure some of the women are great, but um, the idea uh, of living in a country where half of the people are mostly bitches do just doesn't sound appealing. <laughs> that just sounds like even if we're not just talking about like like, marriage material or something, like, that's a little different, because, like, all you gotta do is find one, you know, 
So it's not like that's the biggest problem. You know, if you have lower chances, but there's still bound to be one. But it's more like, you know, you're going to have to interact with these people. And if, if half of them suck to be around, I don't want to be there. <laughs> Just count me out. On the other hand, New Zealand looks fucking beautiful as far as I've seen from pictures. Again, haven't been there because I haven't been anywhere. But, like, it looks just, like, great. I'd love to go. I probably will go at some point if I have, you know, the cash, the uh, the means to do so. But if I, uh, that's definitely pretty high up on my list of, ooh, second breakfast. Speaking of New Zealand, hey! But, yeah, um, definitely pretty high on my list of places I'd like to visit. I don't know what would be on the top. I don't know, I want to visit, like, every, you know, who, who doesn't want to travel, you know what I mean? Like, I'd like to, and, like, where, there's not many places where I wouldn't want to go. I'd go to fucking North Korea if it, if, you know, you could. Did you know that apparently North Korea has been trying to, uh, to, like, make peace with us for a long time and we just say no? Now, I mean, like, I understand why, because it seems like they do some sketchy shit, and, like, yeah, you know, all right. But, like, I also understand that we sell arms to the South Koreans, and maybe we have a bit of a self, uh, vested interest here, because if they stop the war between them, um, and, you know, they feel safe about their neighbors, we won't be making as much money, and, like, that's pretty fucked up. But, like, apparently, I heard this from, uh, who was it? It was, it was the guy who was the former ambassador to North, North and South Korea, I think. I think he was the ambassador to both, but I could be mistaken. Um... But he, he talked about how the North Korean ambassadors to the United States, the diplomats or whatever, they would come... Did I miss something here? I mean, we have this, the Golden Diamond, but like... Is that... Well, we'll try that door anyway. But apparently they would come to the U.S. or like come to an embassy or something. I don't really remember the specifics, and it's kind of strange when I think about it. But apparently they would try and come in contact. Maybe they would just call. Um, okay, that didn't work. What if I put it here? <laughs> Does it matter which one I put it in? Is that probably probably not? I'm gonna I'm not gonna try all these. Um, but we need to get up one more. Oh, there's that teleporter. Duh. Oh, we need to go around. Yeah, apparently they would try and come in contact with the uh, with the United States like embassy or whatever, and we would just not talk to them. We would just not hear them out. Just like nope. Don't want to talk to you, North Korea. And, like, it seems like they're trying to, like, make peace. They're trying to have some sort of discussion, at least. And, like, shouldn't that be what we're doing? Like, shouldn't we at least have a discussion with these people? I mean, imagine, maybe they want peace, and then we make a deal out of it. We make a compromise. Like, hey, you stop doing all these shitty things that we hear you're doing, and we'll have peace. No problem. You know? What's wrong with some more peace in the world? I don't see a problem with it. Let's do it. But we don't do that, and I think it might be because we make money off of the situation. That's that's not great. Um, so, you know. Also, it's always nice to have someone to blame all the time, you know. When something gets hacked, it's North Korea, or it's Russia now, you know. It's nice to have someone to blame. It's 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 a very useful thing. Uh, it sort of can unite uh, people together. Um, we're doing very bad. Okay. What I was saying, though, is apparently there's a rumor that, um, and this diplomat talked about it, that, uh, I'll, yeah, we're dead anyway. But let me, let me just finish this. What do we get? Extra ration. We can buy extra rations at the start. Interesting. So the money's actually worth something now? Weird. Couldn't we buy, like, a, like millions? Wait a minute. Let me just, let me just get in this. Also, we unlocked Halfling Rogue. Uh, yeah, but apparently, um, this diplomat talked about how... Former, former diplomat. I hate it when people do that. Like, they call Bill... Like, President Bill Clinton. He's the former president. He's not, he's not... It's minor. Anyway, former diplomat, he talked about how North Korea actually really wants to be, like, a tourist destination. Okay, I was not able to buy anything there. Um, well, let's quit. Didn't, didn't it say I could, though? <laughs> Isn't that what it said? Did, did, was I reading something else? What the fuck? I thought I saw, I thought I saw that. Did it actually say you can play as the halfling rogue at the beginning? I misread something. I'm, I guess I'm just too distracted by my North Korea talk. Anyway, yeah, they say that uh, apparently North Korea wants to be a tourist destination anyway. And, like, apparently it's, like, a very rural place. You know, you see the maps. It's a big joke. Like, all the tech, you know, all the, 
lights and everything from, you know, the, the, like, you look at a dark map or whatever, and you can see all the lights in South Korea, and then, and then, like, uh, North Korea is just, is just black. But, like, that would be perfect for a tourist destination. Like, that, it seems like it'd be a really cozy, um, rural, Asian, uh, tourist destination. It seems like it'd be really cool, actually. Like, like, imagine, like, a quaint Japanese town or something. Like, that, that sounds like a great place to visit. Obviously, there's some things that need to be, need to be established before people are willing to go. But, like, I'm, I would go. I would definitely go. Anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. And we've died, so, like, we need, we need to, we need to wrap this up. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.